I'm Thomas Baldrick at ASH 2014, joined now by Dr. Alessandra Tedeschi. She's from Italy. Thank you for stopping by and spending some time with us. Thank you. Let's talk about this retrospective study uh, for which you're presenting data. Well, this is a study we conducted us uh, in ESMO and CCN guidelines. Uh, bendamustine is considered a suitable treatment for Valdestrom macrolonemia, but there are not so many data in literature. There is only one uh, study for frontline patients, um, and uh, there were 21 patients treated with the, this combination. And uh, another study from uh, Professor Trion of Dana Farber with just 28 uh, patients enrolled. So um, we made this retrospective study to validate uh, uh, this combination treatment in uh, Waldstrom uh, disease and uh, to see the toxic profile of uh, uh, the combination as a salvage treatment. So what did you find? Uh, the schedule is very well tolerated. Uh, patients with Waldstrom are um, patients uh, with um, an old age. The median of uh, age of our patients enrolled was 72 years, so a uh, quite old population. And uh, we found that is very well tolerated and at the same time is uh, effective, even in uh, patients heavily treated with uh, two or more lines of uh, treatment. Um, we gave a lower dosage of uh, bendamustine in the older patients, in the older population. Uh, we had four patients uh, above 80 years old that received 50 milligrams of bendamustine, but the toxic profile uh, was uh, very good. So this was really about validation? Yes, a sort of, yes. There are um, most of uh, Waldestrom studies uh, are enrolling very small now. It's a rare disease, so the number of patients enrolled is uh, normal in the studies is uh, very low. And so we wanted to just to validate the, the, the schedule and the, the, the combination. So as you finish this work, uh, what do you think is most significant? about what you've discovered? Uh, that uh, bendamustine is uh, very well tolerated. Um, the follow-up at this moment is very short, but as one of the um, biggest issues with uh, this disease is the late toxicity of the combinations treatment. Purine analogs are very effective, but uh, uh, maybe there are a lot of uh, uh, late uh, uh, toxic effects uh, like uh, secondary leukemias or myelodysplastic syndrome transformations and it seems that uh, bendamustine do doesn't give these uh, late uh, uh, toxicities so uh, maybe we have to follow uh, further our patients maybe this can be a next study of uh, late toxicity of bendamustine in these patients but till now uh, we didn't find any uh, important issue with this drug. Thank you, Doctor. We appreciate you sharing your information with us. Thank you. Thank you.